Hello everyone, Vintage Fallout Guy, back with another video. Happy Fallout Friday, and welcome to System Test Number 33 with the Simplex 4004 Fallout Control Panel. So, anyway, let's get started. So, obviously here's obviously an overview of the new panel that we have. You see CPU, zone cards, batteries, diaphragm. It's pretty nice. So. So anyway, that is the overview of the panel. Now let's go on with our initiating devices and the notification appliances. Over here, I still have the 4251-21 from last test. Obviously, it has not changed. Up here, I swapped out the 9219 for my 209938 on its 4903 applied stroke plate. Up here, I re replaced the system sensor I3 with the Ansel SLG 24F smoke detector. And over here, I still have the Simplex 2999 and the 4904 remote stroke. These have not swapped out from the last test either. All right, so that was pretty much the overview of our devices. You can see there's two devices that were swapped out, the smoke detector and the uh, horn strobe or by the panels. So. Anyway, that was pretty much the devices. So now we go on to the fun part, the activation. Start off with the 4251-21, and then the panel will be calling this thing to go through. So if you have epilepsy, do not watch. Alright, system has been silenced. We do have audible silence, as you can see. Now we can go ahead, we can, we can reset the 4251-21. And we can do a system reset. So, give this thing a few seconds here. Alright. System has been resetted, so now we can go ahead and activate the smoke detector on the ceiling and the system will be set to march time. So, I'll be right back. All right, we are on I'm ready to activate the smoke detector. We grab our magic here and the system is now on march time. So, go ahead and activate the smoke detector. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I think it's so loud. <laughs> yeah, but it's electromechanical horn, so yeah, they are supposed to be really loud. So yeah. Yes. All right. So as you can see, we activated the smoke detector. I don't know if you can see the LED light, but yep, the system detector has been activated. This is on zone two. 
Now we can go ahead and do a system reset. All right. Yeah, usually this takes about up to at least like somehow like 10 seconds or so or 15 seconds to reset. All right, system has now been reset. And now what we can do is go on to the last initiating device on the system. And that is the Simplex 2099 The system will be set to continuous. And maybe while I'm at it, I'll show you how I'll show you how I changed the cone option on this thing. So, so here's how I, how we change the cone option on the panel. So what you're gonna do is see this dip switch. We'll flip this dip switch, press acknowledge, and if you go onto the door, you can see it's got all these different programming things. You're gonna go to the letter E, which is your cone option. So you press acknowledge. And you're going to go to the letter E. Three is 120 beat per minute march time. This is simple coding. And then zero is continuous or steady. So, and then how do you change this back to normal? Flip the switch back. And there you go. So that's how we set that to, that's how you change the cone options. So, all right. So now we go on to the final part of the system. Activating the 2099-9754. Here it goes. Wow, that was incredibly loud. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what with these electromechanical horns. Those are probably louder than electronic horns, to be honest, so. Yeah, I'll tell you what. These things with these mechanical horns is, they're, I'll tell you what, these things don't mess around, because I'll tell you what, they are, they are like extremely loud. Yeah, but, all right. We'll go ahead and we'll do a system reset. Like I said, it takes up to 15 seconds or 10 seconds or so for it to go back to normal. All right, system is now back to normal, so, yep. All right, so that pretty much wraps up for system test number 33. Yeah, kind of got the older 4 now, 3, so the mid-90s ones, but yeah, so that's that. So I think next test, I think I might just keep the same smoke protector up for next test. I'm gonna still keep the same horn up for next test, but I'm gonna swap the strobe plate out for a different strobe plate. What strobe plate is it? Well, I'm gonna put the 4 now 4, no, 4 now 3, 9101 strobe plate. I don't know why I said 4 now 4, but yep. So I'll probably take the strobe plate down, horn will still stay up, but I think next test, you'll be seeing the strobe plate in action. And then also, I think I'm gonna swap these devices over here, we're gonna swap out the 2099. I think I'm gonna still keep this pull station up. I think I'm gonna move it over there, replace the 4251 20. I'm gonna put a different pull station up here. And I'm also gonna replace the 4 now 4 most strobe with a different alarm. All right, and this, this metal piece right here is still gonna stay up, so. But I'm gonna tell you all about these 4 now 4 most strobes. This is gonna probably be a pain to take down because it was quite easy to install and put it off, but it's gonna be very tricky or very hard or difficult to take this thing down. So yeah, that's, a, that's the thing with these 4 out 4 strobes. I just don't like the way that you have to remove them, but I guess that's just how it is, so. Yeah. But yeah, so that was pretty much uh, wraps up for System Test 33. If you all enjoyed this video, go like this video, drop a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next week for the next Fire Alarm Friday, so. Have a great day, everyone.